everyone, it's Emily from The Pinning Mama. We've made it to Lesson 9. One of the all-time most used features in Silhouette Studio is the topic of our discussion today, the Weld Function. If you are new to Silhouette Bootcamp, it is a series of posts filled with many lessons that help us learn the terminology used in the Silhouette software. Weld, on the most basic level, takes two or more overlapping shapes and merges them together by removing the interior cut lines. Welding is very necessary for script fonts, although you don't see it when you type in a word processing program, each character of the font is completely individual. Let's start with some examples of the weld function in the modify panel. So right here I wrote, um, example one is going to be cutting any script font continuously, making it so when you cut the lines they don't run into each other or the other letters. So right here, if you can see closely, I'll just make this really big for a second. If I were to cut this, you could see that the deer, all like the E would line, run into each other, the U, the M, the M again, the E, and it would just cut. So if you cut that out, you'd have all these weird cuts in your letters, and it's not the most ideal. And so it, the, This is the biggest for scripty fonts because everything kind of runs into each other. So what we want to do is we're going to go over to our modify panel right here. First we're going to highlight, highlight everything, and then we're going to go over here and go to weld. What that does, it, it what it's done is take out, it's take, made it all one continuous thing. So if we were to cut that, it would cut it with no cut lines going into each of the each character. It's actually kind of made it all one continuous thing, like you want the script font to look. So cutting this makes it much easier. I've cut something and then really been really frustrated with myself because I didn't realize um, that I, fr I forgot to weld it, and so then my letters were all ruined. Um, so anyway, that is one quick way. It's the best way to use weld on, you want to do it on all script fonts so that when you cut it, you don't have all those cut lines everywhere. You can use your character spacing to make it closer together or farther apart. Um, anyway, that's that's kind of a quick way of showing you how to cut, uh, how to weld um, a scripty font. Next is we're going to combine two or more shapes to cut together or make them a new shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these ellipses and make it a flower shape. So I made one ellipse and then I copied and pasted uh, the exact same shape over and over and over. So what I'm going to do is I'm just taking these and I'm moving them to look like a flower. Ellipses are just ovals. When you have it kind of how you want it and move the way you want it, you're like, okay, now I want to weld all of these together. So you're going to highlight all of that. Um, weld is over here. You go to this rectangle and circle, or you can go up to object, modify, and weld. Now you've done it to where you've made a heart, a heart. You've made a flower using ellipses. So you could do that with any shapes. You can make any fun design. Um, and make a fun flower or whatever you are desiring to make. Um, that's kind of a fun way to create your own little design. So there's our flower. Next I'm going to I'll show you over here. We're going to create a line of repeating shapes. For example, I'm going to do a line of hearts to make a border for my paper. So what I did is I went to the Silhouette Library. Well, I had already downloaded this from the store. I went to the library and pulled this heart to my design, and then I copied it, or I duplicated it over and over and over once I got the size I wanted. So now what we do is just take all these little duplicated hearts, get them to where you want them. You could probably put the grid lines on and get it absolutely perfect, but since I'm just kind of showing you, I'm just going to do that. So now that I have two extras down here. Okay, so now I, what I want to do is I want to highlight all... Whoopsies. Okay. 
I want to highlight all of these hearts. Go over here to your modify panel and you're going to weld and weld that together. Oops. Let me make sure they're touching. Try that again. Weld that together. And now what you have is you have a fun little border. Um, I would play around with it a little bit so that you don't, what I did with mine, I'll show you right here. So I, what I did is I got them so they were perfectly touching. See that so that you don't really have overlay and then I welded them all together. Um, so they would be a fun, a fun little border to create when you're making something. So there you go. Then you color it in and you have all these hearts that are connecting. Um, you can play around with it, make them smaller or bigger. You can turn it on its side. You do a border down the side. Like that. So anyway, that's another way of using the weld feature. Um, you could do it with flowers or really anything. You make your own little border. Just make sure that each side is touching so that when you weld it together and then group it together so it's all one big group. And you can move it however you want. That's really it for today's lesson. It was super quick, but welding is a great tool and it's used pretty much anytime you do anything script font or making a border, making your own design. You want to weld, weld it together so it becomes one shape. Um, join us next time for another great lesson. Thanks, guys.